Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, HaKodash, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, and His only begotten Son's name is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That's their proper names, of course, in the Paleo Hebrew, Yalashwan Kodash, which is the Holy Tongue. Of course, I'm uh, going to give double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone, who were well, that's rightly dividing this word of truth. All right, feeding the flock the correct way. Of course, uh, you know, I want to say peace and salutation to all the sincere Akim that are out there on the highways and hedges putting their bodies out as a, a living sacrifice. All right. You know, um, in the different uh, weather climates. All right. Um, you know, fighting elements and such day in and day out. Just, of course, the push is true. To, to make their call and election sure all right uh of course peace and salutation to all you aquath that's out there you sisters all right of the nation of israel because this is all for israel uh the elect particularly which is the chosen 144,000 and the one-third of the innumerable multitude of um of uh, men, women, and children that are Israelites that go back to the 12 tribes of Israel, which consists of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and you confusion of face Israelites, which uh, look like the rest of the heathen, but are in fact Israelites by the, by your father, all right, by his uh, bloodline, all right. Um, yeah, brother Mafa coming back again with this truth. Um, you know, uh, just uh, hit the subject, uh, about this tattoo and this such so uh we, we'll get into it because uh right here in philadelphia we have this um this tattoo convention all right that is uh about to make its way here all right to um the state you know to our to the city here um and uh you know, though it's something that, of course, that seem appealing to those that, of course, that uh, are not in the know. All right. Um, you know, you Israelites, you have to know and understand that all of these things out in the world are not uh, lawful. All right. And that a lot of these different, um, you know, customs that are practiced um, are actually um, of the heathen. OK. You know, being that. It's not a uh, a way of our people, in which the Lord did separate the right the people. All right, we're not all the same. We go back to different nations, and the chosen people of the Lord are you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, you can read that in various scriptures, various scriptures, like you. All right, but yeah, we have this uh this tattoo convention, which I'm trying to get a um uh. A article or something all right here I'm gonna just click this one right here because uh, it's currently the date of today is the 10th so it actually was it started yesterday I believe this um to some um, tattoo convention um, so this is an article it says on the Billy pin dot com all right demand for Eagles Inc interrupt plans for Philly tattoo convention all right which uh you know you do if you do not know the philadelphia eagles all right here in Baball, which is america the the champions of the uh national football league are the eagles for this year being uh well it'd be 20, 2017 because that's what a 2017 season all right but they won the super bowl so look you have like somebody of course foolishly got a uh, go birds you know, the Eagles being a, a eagle, being a bird, all right, um, you know, getting these tattoos and all, so um, anyway, I'm gonna just go into the article, and then I'm gonna hit some precepts, and we can close out, all right, so, um, it say, Adam Pietrus originally planned to work a half a day on Thursday, Pietrus is a tattoo artist at the Dan Key Tattoo Art Collective on Snyder Avenue on, near 12th Street here in Philadelphia, right? On Thursday, the shop was only supposed to open for parts of the day to give staff time to set up for the weekend's annual Philadelphia's 
Tattoo Arts Convention, considered to be one of the largest, the world's largest su- such gathering. All right, so a lot of people, of course, are into these tattoo tattoos and such. All right, let me continue on. It says that was the plan, anyway, before the Eagles won the Super Bowl. All right, um, which I believe that's fifty-two. I believe it is. Uh, it's in the Roman numerals, but um, it says normally the. The Thursday, the Thursday before the convention is reserved for setting up and loading materials into the convention center, which is downtown. All right. But as soon as the Eagles beat the Patriots Sunday night, and especially when the city announced a victory parade on, for Thursday morning, retired uh, knew this would be busier than he thought. The moment they won, Patriots told Billy Penn we had text customers texting us asking for tattoos. All right, so you have uh, you know, Patiatrist, right? Wasn't the only one getting called, so basically, various uh, tattoo artists uh, received uh, you know, um, inquiries, of course, of people who want to get you know, these different tattoos, and were particularly for the Super Bowl to you know, uh, pretty much you know, worship and reverence their team, all right, you know, so so you're gonna continue on, it says. It said uh, the real Eagle fans was coming in for 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 ink as soon as the playoffs started. So he's saying like people hopping on the bandwagon and such, but you know these fucking people don't even know what the hell they follow and such. You know, they just do, you know, according to their flesh and not according to the spirit, and they're not ruled over by any law, so they can do whatever they want. All right. So it says we have a lot of regular clients who are fans, and they they've been actually calling and asking, are you going to do any type of special I'm talking about getting a discount or something all right so look it says so despite the convention photographers kept his shop open on thursday to catch the countless funds celebrating in south philly he ran several parade specials various original eagles inspired designs that range from 60 to 120 dollars more if you want it on your hands or on your neck all right so you got here the F- Super Bowl Fifty Two champs. Uh, you got different designs and such, in which you know uh, this is fucking ridiculous. Big Dick Nick, that's fucking gay shit. Fucking talking about people rods and shit. But anyway, yeah. So you know this is this is some of the design. This particular bat- tattoo artist, um, you know, would do on the day. Which is this this is actually horrible. I mean, I haven't looked at the other, the artist is uh. His other work, but this this shit look terrible. <laughs> you know, not the the glorifying tattoos at, at all, but drawing wise, illustration wise, this is weak. All right, <laughs> that's just my opinion. All right, it says with the shop being two blocks from the parade route, uh, there was going to be a, a lot of foot traffic. Don, uh, Patricia said it seemed like a good opportunity. It said, Patiatris inked three Eagles tattoo after the team won on Sunday, he he said. So, if he did three of those, you know, he he making some, some all right money, you know, 60, 60, 60. But it's 666. Six, six. <laughs> oh, shit. And our 120, you know, up to $120. So, you know, he making a good little bit of change, you know, doing this. But this is this is folly, though. All right. Um which he broadcasting on his social media and all, but it says for part for his part, Amicon has been tattooing uh, the traditional Eagles logo at a discounted price of eighty dollars for two weeks now. Everlasting has sent at least two Eagle tattoo customers out the out the door every day the pat for the past four weeks he estimated, but there were quite a bit more done during the parade. Unlike most tattoos. Which are, uh, are th- are throughout, um, far in advance. Many of Thursday, they's prepared to be impromptu decisions. All right, which uh, you know that's just like spur the moment and all that. You know, you know somebody wasn't even like really planning to get it, and they just get it. You know, so that's just fucking. 
you know, demons on the uh, left hand side just dealing with them to make them do this stuff. All right. Improv two done without being planned. All right. Organized or re re rehearsed. All right. So it just you know wasn't premeditated. All right. So it says the people that that come last minute. He explained they're all excited for the parade, excited for the win. And when you get into it, it's just people that just want to uh, show it off and all that. It's very carnal. Um, you know, looking for, of course, uh, people to, you know, be, be basically be, they, be, they want to be worshipped. You know, they're going to put the team on there and show off their body and all to everybody and all. And that just stirs up curiosity, you know, for, uh, you know, some that, uh, you know, women, all right, who, of course, uh, they put these tattoos on all different parts of their bodies and such. You know, a bitch will put a fucking eagle's tattoo on her arse. And and then, you know, hey, I got a tattoo on my eyes. You want to see it? And then just pulling down their fucking pants. And I've seen so many different damn uh, shit in my um fucking, uh, you know, my, 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 my life here. You know, in and out of the world and such. Or in, I mean, it's like outside of me being in this truth. You know, all right, you know, uh, with tattoos and all that, you know, but uh, it's just it's just carnal. The people that that deal with them and such, you know, they you know carnal under fucking vibration of this world and such. But when you come in this truth, all right, you know, you'll learn, of course, to uh, to 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 drop that, you know, refrain from any of that, and return to your by Shimmy Al Shai, who's not down for tattoos and all of that. All right, so then it goes on and says, additionally, Amar Khan said many people initiated who initially got eagle tattoos a few weeks ago returned and asking now to add the Super Bowl logo the Lombardi trophy or a Roman numeral for 52 which you know this is Rome all reincarnated again all right America all right the the the, the Roman Empire is reincarnated it's come back all right it says now people are coming up with any with every idea all right uh so i mean that's basically it on there you know yeah, but there's a bunch of fucking people that's doing, uh, you know, this bullshit, you know, uh, just because, uh, you know, uh, the Eagles won and it fucking doesn't matter. But anyway, the, the topic is, is about these tattoos and such, and it's not, of course, uh, a custom of the Israelites, all right, which I'm going to read the law on it, all right, the law is here. It's uh, Leviticus 19 and 28, and it reads, ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead nor print any marks upon you i am yahweh it says all right it says i am the lord the, the lord's name is yahweh when you go of course in the, uh hebrew all right in the original language which uh it was written all right you see it right here yahweh ha right here right yahweh all right that's it in the Syrian script. All right. Okay, and that means he exists. All right. Um. So you know, cuttings, right? You're dealing with uh this uh, sh sh uh sharat, all right, and um, that means of course incisions to cut. All right. So I'm gonna show you just to be be a hundred percent right. Cuttings, incisions, cut, which uh you know you, you're not allowed to do. All right. You know, you, you, of course, are penetrating between penetrating the skin barrier. All right. And that's uh, against the law, statutes, commandments. All right. Um, yeah. For the dead. All right. Yeah. That's it. You know, so you shouldn't be putting any printing up all these tattoo and all that. Let's get a bit in the uh, tattoo medical issues and such. It says a variety of medical issues can result in tat from tattooing because it requires breaking the skin barrier tattooing may carry health risks including infection allergic reaction it says modern modern tattooists reduce such risk by following a universal precautions or universal precautions working with a single use item and sterile sterilize their equipment after each use many jurisdictions require that tattoo tattooists uh have blood-borne pathogen training you know dealing with of course uh Pathogens, uh, what's that bacteria and viruses and stuff. Let me see. This would be a hundred. Damn, I need fucking. My dog, I'm thinking. Uh, it's like you. See, I get a definition, but, you know, going to it. Yeah, training, you know, but it's just dealing with, of course, that knowledge, of course, of, uh, 
you know, different, um, here, I'll just click it right here, just to do it, pathogen, pathogen, more, uh, it says, uh, we got bloodborne disease, alright, that's not exactly what I want, let me just have to pull it up in, uh, let me see, I can just pull it up on my phone, just give me a moment, alright, so I can just, uh, just be a hundred with y'all, of course, as always, you know, at a five, of course, you know, uh, path, uh, gen. All right, so pathogen, right? Pathogen. It's any disease producing agent, especially virus, bacterium, or other micro, more microorganisms, all right? You know, so it's a d d disease producing agent. All right, so of course they got to have, tat you have to have, uh, um, some, some, of course, knowledge of, of course, of this, these things, all right, because you can, of course, um, you know, contract different diseases by getting these different tattoos and all that, you know, um, regardless of it's sterilized or not, it's not, it's not a, a thing you should do, all right, so anyway, it says, uh, such as provided by the Red Cross, all right, whatever, um, it says dermatologists, um, they deal with the skin, right, have, uh, Observe rare but several medical complications from tattoo pigments in the body and have noted that people acquiring tattoos rarely assess health risks. All right. So, you know, which that's you got all these different fucking Eagles fans. All right. Just trying to get tattoos on a whim. All right. They don't give a fuck about the health risks and nothing like that. You know, because that's a big decision, of course. First of all, you're going off against your Haobashim, your Shai, if you're an Israelite and such. You know, which is a sin, all right? And uh, only the Israelites can sin. You rest the heathen, you do whatever you want. You're just wicked anyway. But, um, you know, not only that, you know, you put your your your, your, uh, your health at risk, all right? And then you're just making a stupid carnal decision. It says some medical uh, practitioners have recommended greater regulations on pigments used in tattoo ink. The wide range of pigments currently used in tattoo um, inks may create unforeseen health problems, all right, so they got different infections, right, because since tattoo instruments come into contact with blood and bodily fluids, disease may be transmitted if these instruments are used on more than one person without being sterilized, you know, some of these different fucking tattoo art, artists, they don't, they don't, they just use the same needles and all of that, you know, you, you, a lot of these niggas out here, they got, you know, they can buy these little tattoo kits and, and, and just, uh, start tattooing people and such, you know, not giving a fuck, you know, but shouldn't do it at all, it says, and that's unlicensed tattoo artists, right, I'm new, all right, so it says, uh, however, infection from tattoo in, and clean and modern tattoo studios employed by single use needles are rare. It's rare. Alright. So let me let me see how so look. It says however infection from tattooing in a clean and modern tattoo stories employing a single use needles is rare. So you know you you gonna go to a tattoo artist, um it's actually rare for them to use a single what a single use needle. So they reuse the shit. Alright, basically. Alright, I mean, some do it, some don't, alright, some people want to save money on this bullshit, alright, so look, as it had noted, like I was going to say right here, like I had stated, or said before, it says, uh, with amateur tattoos, such as those apply in prisons, however, there is elevated risk of infection, alright, addressing this problem, a program was introduced in Canada, uh, uh, you know, uh, that's big. Yeah, it says a pro program was introduced in Canada as the summer of 2005 that gives that provides legal tattoo in, in prison, which is ridiculous, both to reduce health risks to re and provide inmates with marketable skill, which is number folly getting tattoos. Uh, it said in in inmates were trained. Were to be trained to staff and operate a tattoo parlor once, once six of them open successfully. All right, but uh, I mean, look, you got MRI uh, complications, uh, dermal, um, 
you got hematoma, uh, hematoma. Occasionally, when a blood vessel is punctured during a tattoo procedure, a hematoma or a bruise up may appear. Bruises generally heal in weeks. Uh, bruises can appear as halos around the tattoo, or if blood pools are as one larger bruise, bluish or dark blurry halo surround a tattoo can be attributed to ink diffusion or blowout. Um, so, I mean, there's different, um, you know, f health effects that, that, you know, you can, of course, uh, you know, that can occur from getting a tattoo, you know, things that's going to be detrimental to your health. All right. Well, anyway, you know, you got the law. So I'm going to just go into some other precepts. All right. Because, of course, you know, um, you know, if you come to this truth, you know, you realize, of course, you got to put off the things of the world. All right. So you can't be doing the tattoos and all that like that. All right. So, um, you know, you're trying to be perfect as your Lord. Yeah. How about shimmy? I was shy. All right. Um, I'm going to start hitting these precepts though. Um, first of all, the first precept will be Romans 12 and one, which it says here, this is Romans 12 and one. It reads, I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of the most high Yahweh that ye present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, meaning separate, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. All right, so if you follow Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you have to, of course, be, of course, separate and acceptable. All right, you know, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai wants, of course, a, <clears throat> a sacrifice that is, uh, that is, uh, holy. All right, that's going to be pure. All right. You know, and ultimately, if you are the elect, you know, regardless of if you have received tattoos and all that in the past, you just, uh, you know, you'll be forgiven from it. And, you know, you predestined for salvation anyway. But well, while, of course, you're in this truth, you ain't supposed to, of course, go and follow after that custom of getting tattoos, you know. So it ain't, you know, you don't have to go and get them removed or nothing like that. Just, uh, you know, just don't go and get, go and get them. All right. So let's continue on. Um. Go just get this word acceptable right here. Acceptable real quick. So the the the, the Greek word for acceptable is uh let me get it read it real quick for you. It's read uh erisitos, alright? And it means well pleasing, alright? Acceptable. All right, so it, it has to be so full, look, fully agreeable. You know, the Lord has to, of course, um, you know, um, he has to be pleased with you. And uh, he, he only going to be pleased with you if you follow his law, statutes, and commandments. All right. And you're doing what is um, pleasing unto him, which is, uh, you know, being holy, kodash, separate. All right. Uh, I'm going to get this uh, word also in. Uh, I might look it up real quick to be, uh, be able, agreed on, suitable. All right, adequate. Yeah, that's it. That's basically it. Fine, good. All right, but let me see. I'm gonna, uh, I might want to go into the etymology, even that to even go a little bit, wee bit deep, deeper. All right, so give me a moment. Let me see. Let me pull it up real quick. A lot of this has been put up on the spirit because we was dealing with different shit during the week and all that. We got this Eagle Super Bowl bullshit that happened and all in the city and all that, which made things uh fucked up for a lot of us, uh, you know, living in the city, you know, dealing with fucking scoffers and scorners and shit and niggas that just don't know, um, you know, not to uh, don't know when and when and not to do different things and such, you know, uh, at a, a fucking dude, uh. Fell out the truth that that's uh trying to instruct dudes to go out on a Super Bowl, to participate in uh pro pro basically prophesying during that Super Bowl uh the parade and shit. You know, so this 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 video and such uh is supposed to be already produced, but I'm just now getting around to it. You know, because we of course did a video uh on the day of the Super Bowl parade. All right. Anyway, going on. So acceptable. Uh, it's from the old French accept. Acceptable, right? Uh, I would pronounce that in the French. Um, you know, I don't got good French, but it says pleasant, agreeable, all right? From the Latin, acceptabilis, which means worthy of acceptance, all right? 
that's a so this is a bet this is a this is a better of course uh definition here because uh you know of course the etymology you know uh, dealing with of course the study of the truth all right truth of words and all that all right so uh from the septier take or w receive willingly so the lord of course if you uh you know if you um if you follow his law, statutes, and commandments, of course you're gonna be. It's gonna be pleasant, agreeable, and worthy of acceptance because, you, you know, you um, of course uh, you're kadosh, and that's the way he wants you you to be, all right. Away from this world and all that, all right. So anyway, let me go back now to uh, slack you. I didn't mean to press that. All right, so. We go down here now. So it says, uh, yeah, I'm going to read it from the top. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Shai, that ye present your bodies as living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the power, unto power, right, Yahweh, the Most High, which is your reasonable service. Reads on, and be not conformed to this world, but ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove that which that that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shot. All right, you know. So of course, you know, um, you know, you, you when you being transformed, because that's what you, what happens. You know, when you in here, you know, you get you you get refreshed. You know, um, when you come into, of course, in the truth, you learn, you learn, you get cleansed. All right, you know, sanctified. All right. Right, transform, right? Uh, metamorpho, met, like metamorphosis, kind of is a metamorpho. All right, or metamorpho. Let me see, let me see, let me read it. All right, so it's, me, it's metamorpharo. All right, pronounce it correctly, Slakia. It says to change into another form, to transform, to transfigure. All right, so you change into another form, you're going to put on this righteousness, all right? Simple as that, you know? You're not going to be as, uh, you know, uh, you were in the past, okay? You're going you're gonna to present your body as a living sacrifice, acceptable, all right? Simple as that, all right? So, um, let me see. Let's go to now Romans 6 and... Uh, Uh, I believe it's, I'm going to start, um, this is, uh, I'll start here, Romans, uh, 6 and 8, it says, now if we be dead with Hamashiach, we believe that we shall also live with him, knowing that Hamashiach being raised, that's Yahweh Shai, all right, the Messiah, right, he's the, he's the anointed one, all right, right, it says, uh, knowing th that Hamashiach, being raised from the dead dieth no more. Death hath no more dominion over him. For it, in that he died, he died unto sin once, but in that he liveth, he liveth unto the Most High, Yahweh. Likewise, reckon ye also yourself to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh like you, through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, through it's like our Lord, okay. Let not sin reign in your mortal body, that ye should obey it in the lust thereof. And lust deals, of course, with desires. All right, and we are now in the bodies, but of course, we live, of course, according to the spirit and not according to the flesh. All right. Let me so I'm going to this word reign real quick. All right, so uh, you know. Me a moment. Basileo, Basileo is the uh, Greek word, all right? And it means, of course, this is for rain, all right? To be, it says, uh, it means uh, to, to, to be king. They got in here uh, to exercise kingly, to reign. Not much here, um, and basically having power over you, all right? So, to hold royal office, 
right? They got some of the uh, the sources. They got chaos. Uh, let me see. Uh, prevail to be present. But uh, basically, I mean, you know, uh, rain. You know, when you go into it, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just go to get the etymology just so I can get get some bits out of it. You know, you gotta dig deeper. You know, sometimes you know that's why the lower reports sort of study show ourselves approved, right? Right, so rain, I'm going to go for a verb right here. So it says, uh, to hold or exercise sovereign power, all right? You know, basically having absolute power over you and stuff. You know, you don't want to have, um, you know, you don't want to be ruled by, um, you know, the things of the flesh, all right? Because that's carnal, all right? That's carnality, all right? That's basically it, all right, with it. Um <laughs> To his point, all right. You know, when a king reigns, he reigns with sovereignty, all right, complete power and all. So, all right, uh, anyway, um, yeah, because if you do let it let sin reign, you know, you basically gonna go by the desires of it, all right. You ain't gonna do the things of, of course, the spirit, all right. Say, anyway, going on, verse 13, neither ye, Zaki, neither yield ye your members. As instruments of unrighteousness unto sin. Alright. But yield yourself unto the Yahweh Shai as those that are alive from the dead, in your members as instruments of righteousness unto the most high. Alright, you know. <clears throat> you know, and we in a, we we what we part of the body of Yahweh Shemyah Shai. So why of course, would you defile yourself with these tattoos and all of that? Okay? I'm going to skip down to this. This is Romans 6 and 18. Being then made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. Okay? So when you are, um, you know, in this truth, you now serve righteousness, not wickedness. All right? You, of course, put off all that. All right? It goes on. I speak... Um, Verse 19, I speak after the manner of men because of infirmity of your flesh. For as ye have yielded your members servants to uncleanliness and iniquity unto iniquity, even so now yield your members servants to righteousness unto holiness. Okay, because we, of course, was in sin. We was dead, you know, uh, you know, uh, to, of course, sin. Now we made a lie to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. You know. Made alive and such, you know. But anyway, going on, it says, For when ye were the servants of sin, ye were free from righteousness. So we had no righteousness, of course. No. It says, What ye, what fruit ye, sorry, what fruit had ye then in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? You know, because of course you're like, Damn, man, I was going off getting these tattoos and all of that. You know, whether you knew or not, in ignorance or not, you know, now you know the truth because you got this, uh, you know, the measuring stick in the scriptures, you know, what's right for wrong. So it says, for the end of those things is death, all right, because, of course, uh, wages of sin is death, which it goes down into it, right? But it goes on, uh, which that's like my first f favorite scripture in the whole Bible, I believe. Uh, well, one of it, at least. Um, it said Romans 6 and 22, but now being free... Made free from sin, like you, and become servants to Yahweh Shem Yashai. Ye have your fruit unto holiness, like works and such, right? And the end everlasting life, because you of course going to be delivered. All right, you know if you have the elect. All right, you gonna put off the things of this world and and uh, put off that old man and, and walk in righteousness to Yahweh Shem Yashai. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through Ham Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our Lord. All right, and that's basically it on that. You know, um, you see the bit, the, the different uh, tattoos and all that. Uh, uh, let me pull up some gifts real quick just to show some stupid fucking. So this is a no no. All right, you know any uh, you know any of this. Uh, this is of course an incision. All right. You know, which uh, sharat uh, in the Hebrew, all right, incisions and cuttings in the flesh, we can't do that, all right? 
And it says, Karn, look how proud this fucking person is right here with, uh, just, you know, the chick in the shorts. Fucking just, you know, and these skimpy clothes and all of that. It, you know, these people get these tattoos, they just want to show them off. All right, so they, it, it provokes them to wear different clothing that's very revealing to show, to display the tattoo and all. All right, dudes start walking around with their shirt off and all. Get a tattoo on their chest. You know, they go to the gym, buff up their chest. All right, skinny niggas, they, they just, they use it. They won't even work out and shit. And they'll just get the tattoo and just walk around like, and this, they're basically considered like muscle for them and stuff. Because it's, it's just carnal. It's not carnality. People look at it. You know, you got chicks out there. They, they, they all for, uh, you know, uh, inked and inked up men and all of that. And that's like their, their fetish and all, you know, their lust. All right, they they only like dudes with these tattoos and such. And I mean, I remember when I was in the world, it was like you know we had a little bit of pressure when this started to come uh to get catch on, you know. But I knew it was like fucking pointless, you know, to get a tattoo and all of that. You know, you got bitches there going fucking get a tattoo, talking about uh putting a man on their uh on them saying to say like they pos- they want to be possession then, you know, when these women uh oh put 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 a tattoo of my name on you. They want to be the, they, they want to, or, and, and, and vice versa, you know, that's when they want, these women want to be a possession, all right, you know, when they, they want to seem like they, you know, they got power over you and shit, you know, you're getting a tattoo and such, I got my name on you, and then you go into, of course, having to get it covered up and all of that, man, it's so much bullshit with getting these tattoos and such, so, you know, the best thing for you to do, of course, uh, is not to get the tattoo, as the scripture says right here, in Leviticus 19 and 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in in your flesh for the dead. Nor print any marks upon you. I am your Howell. Alright. So the Most High of course. Your Howell put a, the law and statute commandment. Of course to, to not get tattoos. Alright. Simple as that. So with that. I'm going to say uh, Shalom. Of course. Call Halayim La Yahweh Bahashem Yahweshai Bahashem Recha HaKodash. All praises to the Most High and His Son. All right, coming in the name of the Holy Spirit. All right, no Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, Bahashem Rakha Hakodash. Broke thumb to all of the Akim out there, Akwath, that's out there listening, and learning, of course, of the elect. All right, because this is for the elect. All right, double honors to those apostles that great build still rule well. Shalom.